This thing is a beast! Today I went to Home Depot and I decided to get a couple of items. My good friend Jack fronted me some tools, so I uh, got the Super Sawzall for uh, Milwaukee. So I talked to my TTI rep uh, while I was at Home Depot because he pulled in when I was leaving. I've been talking to him for a year already, so he loves my channel. So I got this and I showed him it. He's, he loves the product and I wanted to check it out, see what it's all about since it's the Super Sawzall. So according to the box, this is equivalent to the 15 amped hour corded reciprocating saw. That's a bold statement to make right there, so it better live up to its reputation. So the battery operated reciprocating saw it has the same power as a corded one. So like we are going to put that to the test in the future, but today we're just going to do this. And so this does, <laughs> this does show the competitors uh, when it comes to time. Supposedly, this is more powerful than the DeWalt 60 uh, volt brushless recip saw. We're going to put that to the test in the future as well. And, uh, and so, yeah, this is a tool-only item, so let's unbox this and see what, uh, see what comes inside. All right, so this should be a very simple unboxing. There we go. Of course, it comes with... Instructions, warranty, catalog, catalog, and the question is, does it come with a blade? I don't think it comes with a blade. No, it does not come with a blade, unfortunately, but that's all right. Alrighty, so this thing, this thing is heavy. Look at that. This thing is this thing is heavy. And so it does have a, a hook so you can put it uh, in your uh, area so you don't have to hold it if you're not using it. Now this does have a dial on top for orbital. So this is an orbital off uh, the orbital setting. And this is just if you if it points down it's at orbital. If it points up, it just goes forward and backward. Uh, I guess this does have a speed setting. It goes to one, it has a dial in the handle, one to five. It has a lock and unlock button, which is good. And so this goes to uh, zero to 3,000 strokes per minute is the standard. So you're not gonna really get a recip saw that is like uh, 5,000 strokes per minute, you wouldn't be able to hold it. All right, so this is 8.8 .8 pounds without a battery. And the stroke length, the stroke length is one and a quarter. It does have an LED, LED light in the front. Let's put a battery in and let's see what it does now. When it comes to, and when it comes to batteries, I do not own uh, when it comes to the high output batteries, I only own a 3 amp hour at the moment. I am getting more in the future. Alright, so the battery is full. Let's see what this sounds like. Oh, that's actually not that bad. It sounds quiet. Alright, let's see if the speed... Yep. That's on 2. This is uh, th th 3. Four, and then five. Wow. There is a, there is a lot of vibration, but for for the power this has, you cannot take that vibration away because no matter what, if it's moving forward and back, you are gonna feel vibration no matter what. So that that's awesome. This actually feels good in the hand. When it comes to the boot, uh, there are some air there are some air pockets in there. Like the boot itself moves up and down. 
It's not like a it's a, a, a solid. It's not solid on there, which that's actually good because I guess you could take the. It's easier to take the boot off. But yeah, let's uh let's test this out, see what it can do. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. I got mine right here. All right, I do have brand new blades. I have a uh, six inch, uh, five TPI uh, demolition blades. These are wood with nails. This this sawzall. I'm I am gonna say this sawzall is heavy. It's really really heavy. Easy. Yeah, this sawzall is uh, this sawzall is heavy. There we go. Easy installation. There is the LED light. It is a pivoting shoe. Very easily piv pivoting shoe. <coughs> we'll just cut that. Oh, wait. Is that adjustment for that? I think I know what that is. What this is for, this little, uh, this right here, you're able to adjust the shoe to a certain length. So that is as far as it goes, which when it comes to this, this is a six inch blade, you lose a couple of inches. It'll cut it. All right, so we are gonna cut this uh, uh, two by four lengthwise. Let's see how it does. All right, so ready? Go. Wow. Let's do one more. All right, so ready? Go. All right, maybe that speed is too high because if you see what it's doing to the top, when I first start, See what it's doing to the top right here? It's actually making a very thick uh, first initial cut. So maybe turn down the speed so it's a little bit uh, more controllable. Let's see. Let's go to speed one. Yeah, that's a little bit better. That's a little bit more controlled right there. Well, let's, uh, let's go back to speed five. All right, so ready, go. Wow. All right, so let's adjust this. All right, so, so let's see what this does in this direction. All right, so ready, go. All right, I think we're gonna add some. Uh, I think we're gonna add some nails to it. This thing is a beast. All right, we got a screw right here. Screw right here. Let's see how well this does against does against some screws. All right, so ready. Go. Time. Yeah, it didn't it didn't break through the last screw. It just pretty much pushed it against the wood. Oh yeah, that uh teeth still look good. We're also reviewing the the axe the axe blades let's try the orbital feature all right so ready go time all right so ready go
feature needs to go. All right, I took the orb or orbital feature off. Gotta love the smell of burning nails in the morning. All right, we're gonna use the same blade. Let's see uh, how long this, if it'll do good. All right, piece of uh, four by four. Uh, we're gonna do one forward and backward and one orbital, see what the time difference is. All right, so ready, go. It cut, it didn't cut it straight, unfortunately. It, there's a little bow. It did not cut that straight. All right, let's try the orbital feature on speed five. All right, so ready, go. Yeah, that was a little rougher cut around the edges. And as you can see, my tools do get dirty. I just clean them after I'm done with them. We got the torch blade on there. Let's see what this can do. All right, so you know what? I want to use a certain, si a certain part of the blade. See, that's the benefit of having this. Because uh, uh, in this standard, uh, these blades, these teeth are worn out. All right, so if you adjust this, which that's actually a, that's actually a tough adjustment, just extend this out a little bit, and then you could use fresh teeth. All right, so ready, go. Let's do one more. All right, so ready, go. All time. Very good. This thing is a beast. Alrighty. After using this for a little bit, I can tell you that this thing is an absolute beast. But there's a consequence to that. This thing vibrates like crazy. Uh, it's loud. Uh, now the noise isn't the noise isn't that bad though when it comes to the noise because all most recip saws are are loud. Uh, but this thing is uh, mo uh, this thing is heavy, uh, and so if you plan on using this all day, uh, yeah, uh, this thing is going to start to weigh you down. Like, uh, but but you get the massive power. That you have when it comes to uh, the, what you get from this uh, from this saw. This thing's awesome, though. This thing is seriously awesome. Of course, it's a fuel brushless, so it works uh, majorly works with the uh, high output and high demand batteries. The high output batteries give you a lot of power at once, but it drains the battery faster. The high demand batteries will uh, majorly extend the life of the charge and give you a decent power so the high output batteries is the one to go for short, short burst uh power which is perfect for these videos but this thing is awesome i am extremely glad i got it yeah that thing's a beast and like i said to adjust the adjust the shoe which this uh, i'm pretty sure this will loosen up a little bit in time you just uh flip this and you're good and you are good. It is very easy to take that out. And then there you go. This thing was this thing is uh $256, I think. Well worth the money. Well worth the money. So like this thing will I could this thing will last you a long time. So I got this today. I just wanted to do the unboxing video of this and uh test it to see what it can do. More tests are coming and versus videos of this and actual use during spring, summer, uh, and fall of using this. So 
That's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.